Welcome to another Fast Tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the percent of total count that an item makes up in any particular table. For example, here we have a list of projects and what the project status is. The status is either planning, design, construction, quality control, or completed. I want to know what percentage of my projects are in each phase. As you can see here, planning makes up 37% of them. I got one, two, three out of eight. So in this video, I'll show you how to calculate that. Now, before you get started with this video, you should know all of these topics, aggregate queries, the decount function, relationships between tables, outer joins, and the NZ function. If not, I've got free videos on my website, on my YouTube channel. Go watch these first. I'll put links down below in the description below the video so you can just click on them. Let's say I've got two tables. One is my project table that has the project ID. That's my auto number, the project name, and the project status ID. Status ID is a number, a foreign key, that relates to the project status table. This shows what the status of that project is. Planning, design, construction, quality control, or completed. All right, one through five. Okay, and they're all right there. Now, the goal is... To figure out how many projects I have at each phase, what percentage of the total they represent. So I can see here, for example, I got one, two, three that are in the planning phase, right? That's planning, okay? Three out of the eight that I have are in the planning phase, so I can figure out what the percentage is. Well, let's start by building an aggregate query to figure out the count for each project status. So let's go to create. Query design. Let's bring in the project table. Close that. Then we're going to bring in project status ID twice. Turn on totals, that makes it an aggregate query. And now set the second column to count. When I run this now, I'll get each project status ID and the count of how many there are for that project status ID. There are three projects in status one. There are two projects with status three. I'm going to save this as project completion queue. And now we'll close this because we have to do a calculation, but we can't put the calculation here in the aggregate query. We need another query because this value hasn't been calculated yet. So this query has to finish. Then we can take these results and feed them into another query. So close that. Let's go to create, query design. Let's bring in the project completion query that we just built. Close add tables. Let's bring in the project status ID and the count of project status ID. So if I run this now, I'm getting the same values that the other query produced basically. But now I can do some math. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to say, percent total is going to be the count of project status ID divided by, now I need the total count of all of the records in this table. So I'm going to use the decount function, which is going to go out to the table and count up the records in that table. Let me zoom in so you can see better. Shift F2. It's going to be decount star inside of quotes from the project table that says count up all of the records in the project table that should return an eight hit okay and now run it look at that now we just have to format that as a percentage so let's come back into here right click properties we're going to go to format percent and then maybe one decimal place and now i'll run it and there we go. There's our percentages for each project status ID. Let's save this control S as project completion to Q. Now you might notice you're missing one status ID there, right? Status two, because we don't have any projects in that phase, but I still want to see a zero there, don't I? All right. How do we do that? Well, let's go back to design view. I'm going to close this property sheet. I'm going to bring in the project status table. So go to add tables, project status T, right there it is. 
and I want to see all of these guys. So I'm going to bring in the project status ID from this table, and I'm going to change the join type. Because right now, if I run this, I'm still missing values, right? So I'm going to change this join type. Double click. We're going to make this an outer join. I want to see all of the records from the project status T and the matching records from the query. So hit number three there. This is an outer join. So show me all of these and the related ones over here. So now if I run this, there you go. I got one, two, three, four, five. And notice we're missing a record over here. Okay. Now we can't do math on a null value. So I'm going to convert this null over to a zero using the NZ, the null zero function. So come back out here and let's take a peek at this guy. And I'm going to start by renaming it. Let's call this total count. It's going to be colon. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. Total count is going to be NZ of this guy. And if that is null, make it a zero. That's what NZ does. It says if this guy is null, make it a zero. That's what, be what total count is now. So I'm going to replace total count in my function over here. Okay, you're going to be total count divided by the d count of that. And of course, you can't divide by a zero. So this query assumes that you have at least one record in the table. Otherwise, you will get an error. You could, you could throw an NZ around this if you want to. NZ around this guy. Here, I'll zoom in. Just in case you have no records, but that's kind of silly. Okay, and now when I run it, I get an actual percentage there for my missing record. And now if you want to, since I've got the project status T in here, I can bring in the name and I can see the project name there too. So now in my, whatever form or report, report you want to base on this, you could bring in the project status name. I bring in the ID too, so you could sort them like that. And then you could show the percent total right next to it. And there you go. And that should add up to hundred. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a like and share and post any comments that you might have below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive notifications whenever new videos are posted. And be sure to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course. It's over four hours long and you can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. Thanks for watching this Fast Tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you learned something today and we'll see you real soon.